They found in people who wound up actually having um, uh, drinking the hot chocolate twice a day over the course of a month, they doubled the number of stem cells compared to the people who didn't drink hot chocolate, right? And so, okay, so the question is, is that important? Well, when they measured their blood flow, mm. what they did is they put a blood pressure cuff on them and which, you know, kind of like um, lowers the, uh, the circulation of the blood. Then they let it go. They found that the blood flow was much vastly improved. Wow. So here's the functional uh, uh, results that actually means it makes a difference. So who's going to complain about chocolate? Who's going to complain about tea? Who's going to complain about a Mediterranean diet? I mean, you go out to eat. These are the things we love. Yeah. Getting people to think about food as not just calories, but information. Food right. is not just energy, but actually instructions yeah. that regulate your stem cells yeah. and your DNA and right. your microbiome and your immune system and your angiogenesis. I mean, these are things that are, are not things people think about. It's the, it's the about. new science of nutrition, right? Yeah. So beyond proteins and calories and sugar and all that kind of stuff, we're now combining food science with life science. Stem cells are considered unspecialized, meaning that they have the potential to develop into various kinds of specialized cells. They can self-renew and can also sense damaged cells and tissues sending signals that promote self-healing. Science continues to illustrate how food has the power to prevent and reverse disease.